Well guys, I'm happy to say this is the final part of the Dale Jr. 12 pack. We are already done. Part 6 out of 6. Let's get this party started. Starting with Dale Jr.'s Delphi Chevrolet Monte Carlo SS. This is his final um this is his final race at the Talladega Fall Race. He didn't finish as high as he wanted it to, but this Delphi uh Dell Jr. car really finished, I believe, sixth. If not, maybe first place, depending on it. This car really looked it nice with the red pinstripe on the sides and on the back. This thing yet yeah, screams Delphi. This used to be Johnny Machek. Um, Ma um, Mark Martin vibes. And Mark Martin did race this car, but uh, I think it was in 2009. He raced at number five. This car was raced again. I believe it won a race with Mark Martin behind the wheel, but that was the, the, the year uh, after 2009, which is Mark Martin's debut at Hendrick Motorsports. This is Dale Jr.'s final ride. This was the fall race at Talladega before the cup race. And this car really, really stuck out. And due to the fact that the, the red pinstripes on the car really set the tone off. As you notice, Quicker said again on the car, and he brought that sponsor over. Delphi was screaming around this car. Look, his, his own Cup Series sponsor, National Guard, was on it. Lowe's, GoDaddy, all the nine yards. Nationwide was on the helm of going further than they were. You know, and this division really spot on, had nice cars. And this one in particular is really nice. This Delphi, number five for Dale Jr. Uh, I liked the, the yellow five on the side. It had the Hendrick vibes to it. This was his first time in Junior Motorsports with the five. And uh, he he really brought it home very big. And I liked it. This car really had set the tone high for paint schemes in the Nationwide Series. And this car came back in 2009 with Mark Martin behind the wheel. So, yeah. Liked it, that car. Talking about car paint schemes. The final special paint scheme for Junior before he went back to the original National Guard and AMP. Was this car. The AMP Energy number 88. Uh, this car had really special memories in my heart. This is number one. This is the number one best car and paint schemes. He inverted it, the green and white to white and green, and then you notice the yellow pinstripe, the red pinstripe that you see that's little tiny on the side on top of the green, became that blue, and then also. If you guys didn't notice, my name was on this car. I wanted him to win Talladega in the fall. Just to set the tone right. And the green stuck out because look at the flake on that. I was like, holy cow, look at the flake on that green. Thanks to my mom. She actually put my name and my brother's name on this car. Just for him to win you know, flat out at Talladega at the fall. This is the final paint scheme he was going to run. And after that, he was going to run his traditional uh, primary and secondary schemes for the next couple of races after. But this one was the top dog paint scheme. To the fact of the flake on the, the green. And don't forget the hood. You can barely tell the lines on there. There are names on this car. You can barely tell because of the cameras cannot see it. But my name was on this car. Uh, due to the fact that, you know, I re I was a fan of Junior throughout my years, and I always will be. I always liked the paint schemes he brought to the track, especially this one. I mean, this one caught my attention. Look at that green. And it, look, not only that, look, look, look at how the green looked on the Mountain Dews. Look, on where it says Mountain, it has flake on there, too. This car had a warm heart. I wanted him to win, but he crashed out due to the fact that the, Tal the fall Talladega race was on the championship day. And you could tell by the little the black nines on it. That, those are names, by the way. Those little black pinstripes. Those are names of the fans that he put on his car. 
I got a gut feeling my name was somewhere on the eight pillar, but I know it's tiny, but I think it was somewhere right about here. Or maybe on the green, depending on it, because I know that my name was somewhere on this car. My name and my brother's name were on the car. My brother was not a junior fan, but he had to. So, you know, it was awesome. This car set the tone of special paint schemes all the way around to 2008. And I adore this guy for much and much time in my heart. And I like it. What I like about this car, let me show you why. If you look at the little specks on the car, there you go. That is actually like a spectra flame or like a special sparkly flame on the car, including on the hood where it says amp. There you go. That's uh I think that's a pearlescent green. The white didn't have the pearlescent, but the green has. I couldn't they actually the yeah, you could tell by the black lines right there. Those are names of the fans that he put on his car. I think it was called Ride Junior, Ride for Junior, something like that. This is actually like a <laughs> an inverted paint scheme, but he wanted to race this with the fall. He said, Talladega. I think my mom, near and dear to my heart, that she put my name on his car just to make him win that race. He let like the middle part of the race until all hell broke loose, the big ones and all that. He got involved with the last one. I did not like how that ended. A lot of fans are not happy about that. And neither was I. But, you know, championship-wise, you got to contend for it. But a lot of people pushing and shoving. Not only that, look, even the Impaler thing has got that green. So cool. I like it. This, this car. And not only that, the little... <laughs> The way they inverted the number from white to from red to white was awesome. The roof number is the same. They inverted it. Instead of that white number 88 on the roof, it's a red number 88 on the roof. And also the National Guard used to be white. It's red. Just like the 88. And of course, National Guard is white in the sides. Man, if, if he would have won that race, People would have been taking pictures of him, recording him winning that race. Just imagine. Those fans would have went off the hook. They would have not been sitting. They would have been standing, clapping him up just to let him hear those cheers and let him win that race until they didn't fall. Just to prove a point. Yeah, I'm not here just because I came from DEI. I came here from hundred from DEI to hundred to win a race. Not to be somebody's thorn on somebody's side. He wanted to make a change. And change was proven in 2014 when he swept Pocono. I saw him practice both both of those months. July and June. July and June was August, right? 2014 when Junior won? When he swept Pocono twice? Yeah. It was, it was 14, right? Well, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, that, that's it for part uh, six. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Action, Action 46 Network, Racing Network. And also head over to Project 94 to get more diecast reviews from him and lots of other stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed. There will be more diecast reviews in a more later date. But remind you guys, enjoy your diecast while it lasts. Well, it still has. I love you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy. Peace out. Phil Torres. See ya.